Hey there everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to test an experiment to see if a do-it-yourself face mask or an actual face mask can stop air particles from coming through. The thing is, is on the WH website it actually states that healthcare workers should be wearing any safety or health certified N95 or European Union standard FFP2 or equivalent masks. So those aren't your regular face masks or your regular do-it-yourself masks that you see everywhere. Even on the WHO site, you can see here it shows one of the person wearing those masks, uh, but a mask is better than no mask. All right, so you can breathe, but you can't see the air particles. If you cough, you can see little tiny bits of spit. If I put like food coloring in my mouth, but unfortunately, if you breathe, it's not going to show those tiny particles. So how else am I going to be able to breathe through a mask and show if the particles go through or not? I thought fog would work, but I don't really have fog or I could put powder in my mouth and breathe, but that would kind of be eh. So I'm just going to have to use good old smoke. Before I do this experiment and test, I just want to say do not try this at home. I'm experimenting and testing this for my own knowledge and power as well as education and knowledge for all of you. I guess I'll test this mask first. So I'm going to get some smoke, inhale it, and I'm going to put this around, try to seal it, and then I'm going to exhale and see if any smoke comes out or around the sides or through the actual mask. So I tried to like seal it around my mouth as best as possible. And even then, it still seemed like a little bit of the smoke particles came through the side, indicating that that would be your air particles coming. We'll try it again. Test number two. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work too good. They even show these homemade masks made from shirts and like towels and stuff. So I'm going to try one of these as well. So I'll go single layer and then I'll try double layer. So single layer did not work. We'll try double layer now. Alright, so the second layer seemed to like have a little bit but not as much. So in conclusion, it seems like the face masks do work at stopping a majority of the particles, but the fine tiny little particles can still get through the mask. Even if it's sealed around it, they can still manage to get through. But the thing is is that they're not traveling as far distances they're actually just coming out a little bit and then they'll probably come out and then dissipate rather than like without a mask and then traveling up to 200 feet and that's the thing too is that if you're coughing and you don't have a mask all your particles are going to go everywhere even if you're wearing a do-it-yourself mask or any of these other masks and you're coughing it's going to stop majority of these particles as well as it's going to stop these particles from coming in so it seems like the best one you can get is one of the half mask respirators but if not uh, if you can't afford an N95 or P100 mask you could always just do a do-it-yourself mask and those seem to work actually pretty good also to educate and inform you all, basically the virus can also enter through your eyes or through your bloodstream. So basically, if you're not wearing goggles, as well as if you have a cut on your arm or a little like like hole, uh, basically if you're not covering yourself, it can also enter that way. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comments down below. I honestly think wearing a mask is better than not wearing a mask. Um, if you can't afford one of the proper N95 or P100 masks or a respirator, just do a do-it-yourself with the paper towels and a couple more multiple layers to the point that you can't actually blow out a lighter. There's also the lighter test. And you blow it. So this one, you cannot wear outside. Don't be an ass. Put on a mask. Put it on. Don't be an ass. Put on a mask. Exactly. So please like this video, share it with your friends and family, and last but not least, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all, and take care.